lesson number four of field hockey. So if you guys remember, and if not, I'll recap. In the last lesson, what we talked about was your stick. If you guys remember, there's a flat side and a round side. Do you guys remember which side you can use in the game? That's right, the flat side. That's your happy side. And then remember, the back side that's round, you don't want to use it because it'll make the ball explode and it becomes the other team's ball. We also went over draws and pulls. So if you guys remember, that's a move that you do against the other team to get the ball away from them. So if I'm coming up to someone, I'm going to come up, plant my left foot, pull the ball across, and then I'm going to run away. If I go the other way, I'm going to plant my right foot, pull the ball across, and then I'm going to run away. So that's a pull or a draw because you're pulling the ball across your body. Another thing in this sport, I don't know if you guys realize, is you cannot use your feet. Feet are not allowed in this sport. So if the ball, if you're running and the ball hits your feet, you're going to hear a tweet. That means it's the other team's ball. Because you're not allowed to play with your feet. Also, as I was saying, if the ball hits the back of your stick, you're going to hear a tweet. And that, again, becomes the other team's ball. Because we're not allowed to play with the back of the stick, not allowed to play with your feet. Okay? Also, in this sport, I mentioned before, but there are 11 players. 10 of them are field players. Do you guys know what I mean by field players? That's right, they're all the players that play on the field. And then there's one other player, that's the 11th player, and that would be a goalie. They are the ones that block the net. They prevent the balls that are being shot from getting into the net. And they have a bunch of different gear from the outfield players. So 10 field players and one goalie. So you got 11 players total. Alright, so before we begin, it is time to get your little muscles warmed up, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to pretend we're jumping around through tires or hula hoops. So I'm going to get a bunch of toys here. I'm going to put them around the floor. I'm going to move my stick to the side. So what I'm going to do is pretend there's a tire on either side of the toys. And what you're going to do, start on one side and you want high knees. You're going to jump from one side, jump to the next toy, and you're going to jump past them. With really high knees, pretend you're jumping around tires. You don't want to step in them. If you go like this and trip, oh no, you might fall. So you want high knees so you don't trip over them. Okay, let's start that. Let's start on the left side and we'll jump to the right. Ready guys? All right, jump to the right, high knees, jump to the left, high knees, jump to the right, jump to the left, and then we stop here. Okay, now we're gonna jump backwards. But if you're gonna go backwards, I want you guys to look back Make sure it's clear and you see you don't trip on anyone or anything. So I'm going to look over my shoulder, start on the right side, I'm going to jump back to the left, jump, high knees, look back, jump to the right, and then look back, jump to the left, look back, jump to the right. Good 
Good job, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do some more footwork here. So footwork is where you learn to move your feet and you become faster and more mobile. So in this version now, I'm gonna start at the back here and we're gonna run on the right side of your toys as you created a line of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run on the right side and every other step, I'm gonna step left with my left foot, come back in, step up, step left. Every time you come to toy, you step to the left, come back, step left, come back. Okay? So let's, and then we'll just go one way on that one. So we'll come here. All right, you guys ready? So remember on this side, you're gonna one, two, toy, left. One, two, left. One, two, three, left. Okay, so start. You guys ready? Left foot, right foot, left foot inside. Okay, ready, go. Left foot, right foot, over. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left over. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left over. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left over. All right, let's do that another time. Let's see if we can do a little bit faster. So we'll do a few steps here, one there when you see a toy. Ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Now you put your right foot over. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, over. One, two, three, four. Right foot over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three over. One, two, three. Right foot over. One, two, three. Right foot over. One, two, three. Right foot over. All right, you guys are doing a really good job. Now what we're going to do is both feet over. But I'm going to step left. One, two, and then step right. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So you're gonna step both sides with both feet, but one foot at a time. We're gonna go forward and backwards on this one. And it doesn't matter what side you start on. You just wanna make sure you bounce both sides. So you guys ready? I'm gonna start on left. If you guys wanna start with me, ready, go. One, two, three, 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 backwards, one, two, three, one, two, three, make sure you look behind you, two, three, one, two, three, all right, really good on that. Now, what we get to do on this one is we are going to do both feet at the same time. So you're gonna pretend you're like skiing. You're gonna shift. You're gonna move feet both ways together. Pretend you're skiing. You're gonna go over the toys this time. And we're gonna go forward and backwards. So you guys ready? Let's go. Right, left. And now you go backwards. One, two, three, four, one more. And you're home. Good work. So that was good jumping with your two feet over. Now we're gonna pretend we're speed skating. And when you're speed skating, you're on one foot, you're hopping from side to side, almost like you're gliding, okay? But this time, start on the one side and we glide 
between your toys from one side to the next. Try not to touch the toys with your feet. Because you want to avoid everything touching your feet, just like the sport. And are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's start on the left side and we're going to go to the right. Ready? Go to your right. Go to the left. Go to the right. Go to the left. And that's good. So now that your feet are warmed up, let's get your stick and ball ready. We're going to do the same thing. And if you guys remember from the other lessons, left hand on top. Get you guys to get your sticker, put it on your left hand, the hand that makes the L, right? Put your sticker on top to remind you your left hand is always on the top of your stick and it does all the work. Okay, so now we're going to start with the ball. Remember in your ready stance, you want to stay low. Get that ball out in front of you. And as you go left, you're gonna pull the ball left. You're gonna go right, pull the ball to the right. Come to the left, pull the ball to the left, pull the ball to the right. Right? So let's do that together. I'm starting on the right side, so you guys can join me. Ready? the ball out in front, stay low in the ready stance, and pull the ball to the left, pull the ball to the right, pull the ball to the left, pull the ball to the right. Let's do that one more time. Let's try it on the left side this time. Okay. Pull the ball to the right, pull the ball to the left, pull the ball to the right. Pull the ball to the left. Good work. Okay, let's do that one more time. This time, you're gonna pretend you're a penguin. So penguins, they're really good and nice. And they can slide, right? So now as we slide through, let's really focus. Don't let the toys touch your feet. Don't let the ball touch your feet. And make sure you're using the flat side of your stick. But say if you went across and the ball touched your feet, oh no, it hit your feet. What I want you to do is drop down, pretend you fell down like a penguin went and boop, 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 boop. You're gonna flop like a fish or a penguin that's fallen down. And then you continue. So we're gonna go. Turn your stick over, 
And we want to keep your stick straight. Don't angle it. If you angle it this way, it's going to go into the toys. If you angle it that way, it's going to go out that way. So you want to keep it straight. And you're going to push as you walk with the ball forward. That is reverse dribble. So what I'm going to get you guys to do, you've got your line of toys. I'm going to add one more. One more toy. So once we start, your feet are going to be on the right side. Ball is on the left side, so it's your reverse. You bend your knees still. Drag that, push, dribble that ball on the reverse. Come up here. Switch. Switch the ball and your foot over so that the ball is on the reverse again, and now we're gonna head back to where you started. You're gonna reverse. Keep it on your stick. Okay, let's do that one more time. Oh, my sticker fell off. I'm stepping on it. Put that back on. So let's do that another time. Reverse dribble. So keep it out to your left. And you walk forward, dragging that ball, switch the ball with your feet. Now you reverse again, but on the other side, going back to where you started. Really good. Okay, let's do it one more time and see if you can speed it up. Ready? Go! Switch. And reverse. Good. All right, so now what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna go reverse this way, come up to this end, turn around, your stick and feet stay on the same side, and you go strong side back. So this is what it looks like. Reverse, up to the front, turn the stick over, turn your feet back, and we go back to where we started. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's do it together. Here we go, starting out reverse. Left hand on top, right on the bottom. Turn your stick over, so your strong side, and you head back. One more time? All right, sounds good, let's go. Reverse, going one way, check that ball, and then strong side on the way back. Okay, so really good job, guys. Now, we're going to do what I call is a clover. We're going to dribble with one hand only in the shape of a clover. Just like those good luck clover leaves. So I'm going to put one toy here, one out here, one out here, and one in there. So basically you're forming a diamond and in the middle there's one more toy in the middle. What you're going to do is with your left hand only, it's going to be tricky, but it's good. You're gonna start, and you're gonna, remember stick on top. Left hand only, push the ball out in front. You're gonna push that ball to the middle toy. You're gonna go to the middle toy, go around it. Now you're gonna push the ball out to this other toy after you've done in a circle. Once you've gone to this one, you're gonna go back to the middle. You're always gonna go back to the middle. Go around the middle toy, now you go to the top. Go to the top, then you come back to the middle, do a circle around the middle. Now you're gonna go to the cat, which you haven't gone to yet. And then you're gonna push out, come out to the middle toy, go around the middle toy again, and then you come back to the beginning. So you might get pretty dizzy, but the biggest thing is, every time you go to the outside toys, you come back 
do a circle around the middle toy, and then you're always going to a different toy each time. So let's do that. I'll do that with you guys. We'll go slowly and we'll walk through this. So remember, our left hand out, push that ball out in front of you as much as you can. Try and do the alligator teeth. And you're gonna push the ball forward in front of you. Walking to the very middle toy. Go around in a circle. We're gonna go out to the chipmunk on the right. Go around the chipmunk. Back to the middle. Around the middle of a guy. To the top. And then back to the middle. And then back out to the cat where we haven't gone yet. And then back to the middle and to the beginning where the patanda is. All right, so that is the clover. And you guys did a really good job of that. And now, now that you've done a really good job with left hand only, you get to do with two hands now. So this should be easier. And what we're gonna do, same thing. But now, you got two hands, which means you get even lower. I'm gonna go, and I'll show you. I'm gonna go around the middle toy. And then we head to the right, to the chipmunk. Come back to the middle. And then you go to the top. Come back to the middle. And then out to the cat. Back to the middle. And then back to the start. Remember to push that ball away from your feet. If it touches your feet, I want you to stop. Do five jumping jacks. Because we don't want it to touch your feet, okay? Okay, let's do this together. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go to the middle. Back out to the right. To the middle. To the top. Back to the middle. Keep pushing that ball out. Stay low, stay bent. Come out to the cat. Back to the middle, and to the beginning. All right. Whew, I'm a little dizzy on that one. But you guys did really, really good. I like how you guys are staying low and pushing that ball out with the alligator teeth, and left hand on top, most importantly. Okay. Now, on the next drill, what we're going to do is called landmines. So if you want, you can gather all your toys, grab more toys. I have about eight, eight or so toys. If you want more, that'd be even better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss them around randomly. Whew. All right, so now they're just scattered all over the floor. I'm gonna throw another one in. Whew. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to pretend that these toys are mines and they're gonna blow up. So you don't want them to touch your feet and you don't want your, yeah, you don't want it to touch it with your feet and you don't want your stick to touch them either. You wanna avoid them and if you touch them, they're gonna blow up. So let's say if I touch this with my feet, because you don't use your feet in the sport, it's going to blow up. So what I'm going to do, you'll have your stick on this with the ball, and then let's say you touch this accidentally with your stick or with your feet. I want you to put your stick down because now you're on fire. You're on fire and you got to go pretend you're putting out the fire. You drop your stick and you're like, do, do this five times. Jumping jacks, put out your fire five times, and then you pick up your stick and continue going again. Your goal 
is to get around. You're trying to travel as far as you can through all these landmines. You're going to go all over in different places and you're traveling, trying to find your way home. And you got to protect the ball. The ball is like a magic stone that you found and you want to protect it so no one can get it. And you definitely don't want it to blow up. You don't want your feet to touch the mines and you don't want your stick or ball to touch the mines. But you keep going. Okay? So we're gonna go as long as this music goes. So I'm gonna play some music. And once that music goes, you just travel. And once it stops, that's when you stop. But as soon as you hit a landmine, you gotta drop your stick. Do your five dummy jacks to put out the fire. All right? Okay, ready? Let's go. Good job avoiding most of those landmines. So, now we're going to do more with the landmines. This time, we're going to try and get that gem, our ball, and try and get it from one end of the room to the other end of the room. And we're going to see how many times you can get it in without touching the landmines. In before the music ends. So basically, we're gonna. This is the shop. This is where I bought the gem. And I'm gonna try and deliver it. I'm gonna travel, 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 and deliver it to the safe house, to the bank. This is where they store the jewelry. And then I'm gonna go back. And come back here. So I'm going to deliver it back and forth, avoiding landmines, and you're going to try and see how many times you go back and forth, trying to do a different path every time without hitting a landmine. And again, if you hit a landmine with your foot, your stick, or the ball, drop your stick. Five jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five. Got to put out the fire. And then you go back. All right. You guys ready? Let's go!
So no feet when you play the sport or else it becomes the other team's ball. And the other thing we went over is the reverse dribble. So anytime you're gonna dribble on the left side of your body, cause you can't use the round side, you gotta turn your stick over using your left hand and dribble the ball. And this is called the reverse dribble when it's on the left side of your body. On this side, it's the strong side. So strong side is on the right side. Reverse is when you turn your stick over and you're on the left side dribbling. You guys did a great job today and we'll see you at the next one.